It's on now. So if you just walk over oh, there, boys. it's on now, yeah. I have fallen for just here today to share with you about Jesus Christ. And our life is like a vapor. Tonight you could die. You could die smoking wacky wacky tonight. You could die watching Jeremy Kyle's show tonight. You could die watching X Factor. You could die tonight. And if you die tonight, where will you be? The Bible says there's a heaven and a hell. Jesus warns about hell more than he does about heaven. But he gave us a way out of hell by coming down and he went to hell for us by being whipped and mocked and humiliated. They whipped him. The Bible says he was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we healed. Christ died for you. Now if you die tonight, where are you going? If you watch in Jeremy Kyle's show and die tonight, where would you go? If you was watching X Factor and died tonight, where will you go? And if you're smoking your wacky backy and you died tonight, where will you go? Jesus died on that cross to rescue you from hell. He shed his blood for you. He was suffering and dying for you on that cross. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from all sin so that you wouldn't have to go to hell and come under the wrath of God. He took your wrath. He took your judgment. He took your punishment. But if you continue to reject him, you don't know where you're going to wake up. You might wake up in hell tonight. You don't want to wake up in hell tonight. Because there'll be no wacky backy there. And there'll be no Jeremy Kyle. And there'll be no X Factor. So you need Jesus Christ to rescue you. You need him who loved you and died for you on that cross. If you were on the Titanic and the Titanic went down. And, and I offered you a boat. And I offered you a boat. Would you take the boat if the Titanic went down? If the Titanic went down, would you take the boat? If you were on the Titanic and the Titanic went down, would you take the boat if I give you a boat? So come and get Jesus. Never mind the meat, you need Jesus. Jesus is more important than the meat. Jesus is the one that died for you and shed his blood for you and gave himself for you on that cross. Shed his blood. Get your meat over here. Cheap meat over here. Fresh meat. Fresh meat over here, folks. Get your fresh meat here. Get, get some fresh meat. Going cheap. It's a good place to get your fresh meat. Now come to Jesus. Come and know Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Come and know him as your King. I'm nearly finished, guys. I'm nearly finished, all right? What is better? To smoke wacky blacky on a Sunday night or go to a prayer meeting? What is better, smoke wacky blacky on a Sunday night or go to a prayer meeting? <laughs> no, a prayer meeting, of course. It's good to go to a prayer meeting and meet the living God. What about coke? Get your set. You don't want coke, bro. It'll blow your brains out. <laughs> he said, what about coke? Coke will blow your brains out, lad. You need Jesus who loved you and died for you on that cross. No coke, no spice. Who's been smoking spice this week? <laughs> Who's been smoking spice this week? If you want to fry your brain, that's what you need to do, smoke spice. You don't want to be smoking spice, it'll fry your brain. You need Jesus. Jesus will save you, he loved you. So come, please come, because I don't want to see you in hell. I don't want to see you in hell. I want to see you in heaven. I want to see you in glory. And you might be on a holiday to Spain and the plane go down and crash and you die. You might be on a holiday in Spain, go for a swim and a shite shark gobbles you up. You don't know what's going to happen to you. You don't know what's going to happen to you. You might be on a scooter in a field and crash and you die and go to hell. So today is the day. Right now, today, because you might go home right now and choke on a chicken bone and die. 
You might go home right now and you might die because you left the gas on and the house blows up. 